the English novelist Jane Austen was born in Steventon, England on the 16th of December 1775 to her parents George and Cassandra Austen. Have you heard of Jane Austen? Jane and her sister Cassandra and her cousin they came to Southampton to go to school. Their uncle was the mayor. She danced on her 18th birthday in the hotel in the high street. We've got a hotel called the Dolphin Hotel. Jane, her mother and Cassandra came here to stay with their brother, um, Francis Austin. Francis Austin lived in a house that was here. Not this building, this is more modern. It was a three-story Georgian townhouse and it belonged to the third Marquis of Lansdowne. just got my ticket to go for the tour of Jane Austen's in Bath. So it was 1475 for an adult, I believe. I'll put all the details below. So my tour starts in about seven minutes. Let's go. So today we've decided to get up dressed and ready and head off to Jane Austen's family home in Chawton. Just stopped for a coffee in the little place across the road, it's so cute. we've come to Jane Austen's house which is near Winchester. I'm really looking forward to having a little look round. I watched Pride and Prejudice for the first time last night. Lovely movie. This is so quintessentially English. It's lovely. This is the washing machine. Let's have a little look. Jane was raised in a large family. James, George, Edward, Henry, Cassandra, Francis, then Jane and her younger brother Charles. In her lifetime she wrote six novels, Sense and Sensibility in 1811, Pride and Prejudice in 1813, Mansfield Park in 1814 and Emma in 1816. Unfortunately, they only brought her modest success during her lifetime. Her final completed two novels, Northanger Abbey and Persuasion, were both published after her death. Jane did start another, which was eventually called Sanderton but she died before it was completed. Her novels have inspired many films, including the 1940s Pride and Prejudice, the 1995 Sense and Sensibility, and the 2016's Love and Friendship.
The family lived in Steventon until December of 1800 when George Austen, Jane's father, announced he was to retire from the ministry and move the family to Bath in Somerset. He died on the 21st of January 1805. After her father's death, it left the ladies in a financial situation as it was the sons who inherited. Edward, James, Henry and Francis made annual contributions to support their mother and sisters. In this house, the English author Jane Austen lived for the last 18 years of her life, from July 1809 until May 1870, just a few weeks. I really, really love this house. It is so beautiful. Beautiful thatched cottages here. And on the top you can see the birds. Evidently, each thatcher has his own birds that he puts up. So these were done by three different people. So we've just been down to visit Jane Austen's house up there. And then it's a 10 minute walk just down the road to her brother's house. So that's where we're headed now. In early 1809, Jane's brother Edward offered his mother and sisters the use of a large house in the Chalton village. Cassandra, Jane's elder sister and their mother moved into the cottage on the 7th of July 1809. They've got their own church on the grounds as well. It is so beautiful. We're so lucky with the weather today. It's gorgeous. Goodness me, look at the size of this place. Stunningly beautiful. So unfortunately they've got a convention here and there's a whole thing going in in the house so I can't go in. So we're going to head back to where we started and have a spot of lunch. Jane was feeling unwell by early 1816. In mid-April, she was confined to bed. Her brother Henry and sister Cassandra brought her to Winchester for treatment. But Jane died on the 18th of July, 1817, aged just 41. <laughs> 